So Arkham Knight picks up about 12 months after the events at the end of Batman Arkham City. The power vacuum left by Joker's death has been filled by the return of Scarecrow. And Scarecrow is back to unify the rogues gallery, take down and destroy the Batman once and for all. Well, we wanted to close the book on the ultimate Batman experience. Arkham Asylum for us was about really exploring what it is to be the world's greatest detective. Arkham City for us was about blowing that out so that we're exploring what it's like to be the Cape Crusader. The missing piece has always been the Batmobile, but we needed next-gen horsepower in order to deliver on that. With so much love and passion over the years, all we've ever wanted is for gamers to genuinely feel like Batman. Now with Batman Arkham Knight, it's the complete and ultimate Batman experience. Designing the Batmobile and designing the city sort of happened at the same time. It was critical to us that the driving experience felt authentic. So the streets have to kind of be a particular shape, particular width, the, the roads have to be quite organic. There shouldn't be an obstacle that it can't just tear through. It is genuinely just this unstoppable force. The game itself in Arkham Knight is, is massive, easily the biggest one we've ever made, but it's also the most emotional game we've ever written. What does it mean for those people who are close to Batman to be kind of drawn into his war on crime? What cost is there to these people that he loves? Uh, so this game really examines you know, what happens when those relationships start to fall apart. Obviously with a name that is the title of the game, is a very significant character. It was very exciting for us to bring a new character into Batman's world and also design our own version of the Batmobile. Two massive things that we never thought we'd be able to do as a studio and this game really is a total dream for us. PlayStation.